Hello, Hateless Gaming here, bringing you a guide on Burner Ashmu, or Ashimu, however you want to pronounce it. This is the most dangerous of the base burners to kill. Uh, to kill him, we are using a passive Tangtila. This is the only way that I've found to kill it reliably. First, we're going to go over the skills required for this fit to work. Uh, in Spaceship Command, we need Kaldari and Galente Cruiser to 4. I would highly recommend 5, because with 5 you get a better DPS and tank. In engineering, we need to have our power grid management, our capacitor, or we don't need any capacitor skills for this one, although I'd recommend training them for other reasons. Uh, we need energy grid weapons, CPU management, advanced weapon upgrades, and fitting skills need to be all at least four. I would recommend five. For the shield skills, we need shield operation, shield management, shield upgrades, and we don't need shield compensation, but we do need EM compensation to four and thermal compensation to four. I would recommend everything else to five. For missile skills, uh, nothing's really needed. It's just uh, additional DPS to help us kill things quicker. Uh, we use rapid light missiles for this fit because they have a smaller, they, they, they attack faster and they, they're not faster, but they, they hit smaller targets better than hams or heavy assault missiles or heavy missiles and then i would recommend missile support skills at least to four and um t2 missiles if you can train them i haven't gotten around to training t2 missiles yet but if you can get the t2 missiles in there you'll be golden for drones are the bulk of our dps so we're going to want all of our drone support skills up to four or greater drone durability is especially important in this category i don't have it to five yet i really wish i did because one thing that's going to be happening is that we're going to be taking a lot of drone damage. Um, drones 5 is necessary so that we can use get our T2 drones unlocked. We only use T2 drones, but if you have the skills for T2 drones, you're going to be a lot better off. For rigging, we need, we need shield rigging to 4 so that we can fit our fit. Uh, for our fit, we have uh, medium nostril. Uh, this is... Uh, to draw aggro away from your drones. I'm still experimenting with this. This isn't confirmed or denied yet. But when you're nosing Ashiminu or Ashmu, Ashimu, you're more likely to draw the aggro if you're attacking him with something. Uh, and then we got six prototype Arbalist Rapid Lights. Uh, I would recommend Tech 2 if you can fit them, but if you can't, this works. We have three Republic Fleet Large Shield Extenders. Uh, it's necessary to go Republic Fleet and Shiny if you want to be 100% safe. All of this can be switched to Meta 4 in the tank, but you're going to have to make sure that you always carry the Shield Power Relays, and you may have to switch your Drone Damage Amplifiers out for Shield Power Relays if your tank starts to drop. Uh, we have a uh, one Pythium A-Type Thermal Shield Amplifier and two Pythium B-Type EM Ward Amplifiers. I went with the B-Type because the A-Types were too expensive. Uh, this, this tank with my skills will hold almost 100% of the time. I've never had it fail, and I know that it's possible to do this with T2. And again, if you want T2, I would recommend max, max skills and bringing the shield power relay. But if you want to go shiny, you can get away without bringing the shield power relays in the cargo. In the low slots, we have three drone damage amplifiers. And for rigs, we have three T2 medium core defense field perchers. These are very important. They give you the bulk of your shield recharge. And for ammo, we're using Kaldari Scourge light missiles, and we have 10 Vespas in the drone bay, in our cargo, we have extra rockets, or Kaldari Navy Scourge light missiles. Uh, you really only need a thousand to bring with you. I only go through like 500 or 200 rounds, 250 rounds a mission. I know the ship's not going to die. I have plenty with me. We have a mobile depot. We have a mobile tractor unit. Uh, the mobile depot is essential so that we can move our drones from our, our cargo bay into our drone bay as needed because it is very likely that we're going to lose 10 drones. So the mobile depot allows us to move the extra drones from our cargo bay into our, our deep, into our drone bay. And it also allows us to refit uh, the drone damage amplifiers for shield power relays if our tank were to fail. And the mobile tractor unit is to help with extra, or to, to bring in all the loot so we don't have to go chase them down. Ashiminu orbits you at 20 or 13 kilometers and he gets further away if he decides to attack the drones. 
We have 20 spare Vespas. We use T1 Vespas, not T2, even though I do recommend the skills to be able to use T2 drones. We're using T1 Vespas because we lose a lot of them. Uh, burner Ashiminu is the is an anomic base burner. Uh, we just have to destroy Ashiminu and his henchmen. So I'm going to close that out as well. I should have gone over that first. But, you know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Anyways, so we're going to go in and do this mission. I'm going to reload Kaldari Navy Surge because I didn't have it loaded. And we're just going to go in and I'll show you what to expect when you get in here. So the very first thing that we do when we land on grid with Ashi, Ashimu and his henchmen is we're gonna lock him up. What that does is that pulls him towards us and it tells him, hey, we're aggressing you, which triggers him to start coming towards us. As you see, their velocities of these will start to increase and they'll start coming towards us. We're gonna select our mobile depot and our mobile tractor unit and we're just gonna drag them out to space. You can also right click and deploy them, but I drag them out to the space. Uh, the mobile tractor unit activates a lot quicker than the mobile depot, but it's important that we do that first thing in case we lose too many drones. Now what we're waiting for is we're waiting for these guys to get close enough. Let's see, they get within 17 and their velocities go and then they drop like a rock. Once their velocities start dropping, we launch drones. And we do that. And then once Ashiminu's in NOS range, as soon as we can activate it, it looks like it's 25 kilometers, we can activate it. As soon as he's in range, we're gonna start NOSing him to try and keep our aggro off of our drones. So as you can see, we're starting to take a lot of damage. This is the most dangerous moment for this particular fit. If you are starting to get in trouble and your shields get to about 30%, once they hit about 30%, you're going to have to go like this and drop our, drop our, we're going to take our drone damage, drop it in the cargo and put shield power relays on. Something in that location. And if we switch all three of them, It'll save you in the case that you're about to die. So we, for this particular fit, we don't need that. We've already killed one of the henchmen while we were doing that, one of the sentinels. The sentinels aren't, uh, they do a different damage type. We killed them first to, to help with our tank. But I don't know if they can kill this fit with proper skills. I have never had it completely tested because I've never just warped in here and sat here and done nothing. Um, after I kill the first sentinel, I know that it is no longer possible for him to kill me. So we just continue working on the sentinel. And then there's not really much to say. As soon as the sentinel dies, we work on Ashimu. I like to call it Ashiminu because I'm weird. So we've killed two of the, two of the things and we've only lost... So we kill both the sentinels, and so far we have only lost one drone. So that's telling me I would recommend the NOS, because normally I've lost like three or four drones by now. And it is possible to, even with the NOS, to lose upwards towards 12 to 13 drones. Uh, the, the worst experience I've had in this mission is I've lost, I once lost a lot of drones. I lost like 16 of them. So that's why I recommend you have 20 in your cargo. But now all we have to do is sit here and wait for Ashimu, Ashimu to die. And that's it for the Ashimu burner. We've killed him quite safely, I might add. Our shields never drop below 50%. What we're going to do now is we're going to wait for that tractor to pull in Ashimu. Which it looks like it's going to do fairly quickly because it's only 10 kilometers away. We're going to scoop our mobile depot. And then we always check loots for the burner missions. Because sometimes there's good stuff. This time we got some faction ammo. 
and Ashley Moo always drops one anti cathedral element and between one and five neural networks. And that's it. I would like everybody to fly safe, have fun, and if you follow this guy correctly, tell me that you successfully killed Ashimu. Uh, if you have trouble with Ashimu with this guide, please let me know in the comments. I would like to improve this guide if there's issues with it. But everybody fly safe, have a good day, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below.